Hi there, it's Matt here from Voice Hacker. We do dialect coaching over Skype. And today we've got six tips to help you master a Dublin accent, helped out by the roguish Irish brogue of Colin Farrell. Let's get started. We start with the I sound, and instead of the word night, Colin turns it into... Was it keeping you up at night? Instead of clarifying, he turns it into... No, it's clarifying. But I'm... And instead of life, he turns it into... I have more fun in life now than, than I used to. It's almost getting smaller, more compact, less movements. Instead of I, it's I. Life, life. The same is true for another sound like this, the usually very mobile ow. Here, he turns without a doubt into... Without a doubt. He turns about into... About what we do or you do. And house into... The tension in the house, house, house been born. The next big one to talk about is the uh sound in up. Uh, you know, I gave up for two years, man. Cut. Cut to, cut to, cut to. And something. And I thought, this fella's onto something. And I... Here, it gets crushed inwards. Very, very small. Up, cut, and something. Next up, we have the ah uh sound in Hours. Me neither. Yeah. What are your hours usually? Start. Don't start it if you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, don't start it. Yeah. And work. Doing the work, and she does. I mean, all of these are voiced. The British accent tends to drop some of its R's, so we will tend to say hours instead of hours. Your hours usually. Your hours usually. What are your hours usually? But Colin Farrell's accent and most Irish accents in general keep these R's in. Let's listen to a little bit of Colin just talking and let's see how many R's we can count. The social etiquettes of this period and you've observed the interactions between men and women and you always wonder are those interactions and those behaviours, are they really a, a, an accurate portrayal of... That is a lot of R sounds. For our last couple of sounds we're going to do sounds that elongate and we'll start with the A. Ah. This is the vowel in tandem. And then when Philippe came on board, I'm sure they work beautifully in tandem. And Matt. I started about a year ago, even bought a mat. You notice there's a slight elongation. Matt, Matt. There's another elongation here as well, a slight shape change in the O oh sound in coffee. Keep the coffee in your diet, yeah. kids. No. And shot. I think he shot her opera in, in Italy. And all of these, they just get pulled slightly wider, and they're very slightly elongated too. He shot her opera, and he shot her opera, and I think he shot her opera. Time for a summary. The I sound goes in the same way as the ow sound, short and much less movement. Think my mouth. The U uh sound gets crushed in words, like shut up, and say every single R that you see in rare, stare, and fair and elongate the ah in relaxed and the ah in stop. And now, let's bring it all together. This sentence you're about to hear contains every single sound. Ready? Why must dogs get mad at car sounds? Why must dogs get mad at car sounds? Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more accent hacks in the future. If you want to master an accent, or if you just want to change the way you speak in any way, you can come and get lessons with us anywhere in the world over Skype. Just email me at matt at voicehacker.co.uk. And don't forget to support the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. See you soon.